is all yours for the price of $27. Not bad. We have the Polaris Yogurt Wallet today, and it doesn't disappoint. You do not disappoint. Whoa, right here. Polaris Yoga is what this one is called. Let's get into this. This craft box. Some interesting advertisement. And let's see. Here it is. Hmm. I really like this design. This is a stamp design. This is beige in color. And it is fairly simple. Let's take this out. Okay. Thank you. Let's take a quick look here. Like we always do, stitching. Let's see how it's performing. Let's see here. Fairly well. Look at the stamp design here. Get a little close there. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That is pretty cool. And this is attached. All right, well, let's do it. Not bad. From a feature perspective, we have this card box right here. Capacity up to eight cards or six that are embossed. You can tell which they're embossed because they have raised letters or numbers on them. We can see that we've got a, another little slot right here and another slot right here. So two exterior slots, and they're exterior to this, not on the exterior of the wallet, and it's a good additional card uh, storage here or cash folded twice. You can go in either here or here. Pretty simple from that. Also has the trigger mechanism, which helps pop up the wallets. We'll look at that. We get to usability. This wallet measures 3.7 by 2.6 by 0.4, and it weighs 62 grams or 2.2 ounces. Liking what you see? Well, wait, there's more. Did you notice I got seven cards in the box? and I put two slips of cash folded in thirds or quarters, depending on your preference, right in here. I think you can also probably slip it in here, and of course another card could go in here. Let's just do that. I mean, that's fairly easy to do. Still lots of room in here, get another card. That works pretty well. So what about the shake test? It's always something to look at. Okay, yeah. That's really good. That's not going anywhere, and is not the case with all box wallets. Some are easier than others. So, you know, man, I was putting a lot of force in that. Let's see what we got. There we go, they were starting to get a few. But that's not gonna happen under normal use. If you dropped it, maybe if it hit exactly right, but actually this is really pretty good. Now you can notice right here on the end that says it's RFID, that comes by virtue of this being an aluminum box. It just helps prevent radio signals. It's not a complete Faraday, if you know what that means, but it's good enough for what we do in this industry. So what happens if we have just a couple cards in there? Well, let's uh, get these out. Let's take two and let's put them in. You know, sometimes fewer cards, let's see. What kind of luck we have. Yeah. Wow, that's uh, that's awesome. This is designed in Poland and made in Europe. The box is an extruded aluminum, which I mentioned, and instead of marrying two sides together, it's just one piece that goes around, and as it goes through, they chop it. Of course, it uh, is all finished properly, so there's no sharp edges, and then the guts, meaning the lifter mechanism, is inserted from the bottom. Uh, all box wallets, well not all, most, have some sort of friction pads that help prevent this from having cards fly out. This one's a little different. Looking inside we see the mechanism at the bottom, but the one thing different than other box wallets is the friction strips on the side. They're leather and are leaves that flare into the innards of the wallet. So when you insert the card, the leather friction strips provide grip with the pressure of the leaves pushing in on the cards to keep a grip. Now the internal mechanism is a tried and true design pioneered by Secret, which inserts itself from the bottom. I do want to point out that Secret continues to innovate with their ejector mechanism, while others stick with first generation designs. How can you tell? Secret's versus others? Well, Secret has a split that goes right down the middle here and helps prevent this mechanism from being broken if people accidentally slam cards in. It's kind of a bit self-healing. But, you know, this is the mechanism that has been uh, been pirated by oh, copycats all over the world, but it's because it works. Now, this exterior is made using chrome tanned Italian leather, which provides many rich color options to choose from. The Yoga has a very nice stamp pattern. The leather is immersion dyed, so it soaks into the full pattern of, or full, into the leather completely and then covered in a water repellent varnish. This leaves the color uniform and complete across, across the wallet and makes it dirt resistant and gives this bit of a sheen. The edges are rolled, as we can see here, they roll in with a nylon substructure. The box wallets, uh, 
will always attach to whatever is, you know, in this case, leather, by some kind of adhesive. And they will have a tendency to detach over time. And there's nothing wrong with that, but adhesive will, you know, sometimes get loose. But we see with the, the yoga, uh, that's, there's, it's, you know, we have edge to edge, and a little bit in here, but this is held on really, really well. I don't see uh, any concerns that this would come apart naturally over time, but just be aware that there's no mechanical fixture on this. It's all just done through adhesive. Now this is an impressive wallet, which is all yours for the price of $27, not bad. Classy and simple to use. This is a nice wallet, built very well and priced below what others charge. The leather will form to how you carry it with it being a front pocket wallet. I don't recommend carrying these kinds of metal wallets in your back pocket. They'll just make your sciatica worse than it already might be. The aluminum naturally provides the RFID as I mentioned, as does this nylon liner, which you know is put there on purpose. So let's remove these really quick and get prepared. For the price and construction quality, this is a fine product. I'm finding that all of Polaris' products meet a high standard for quality while providing them at a very affordable prices, all while still being produced in Europe. Now onto the final score. Quality of four, price of four, features of three, usability of four, and perception of four. Obviously price is excellent in this, and that gives us a final score of 3.9 out of five. If you like this review, then look at this video next. I know you're thinking about it, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.